This demo shows an example of migrating a tenant from an NSXV-backed organization VDC to an NSXT-backed organization VDC. I have a single vApp which contains two VMs, two networks, one edge gateway with firewall and NAT configured. The VMware NSX migration for VMware Cloud Director tool is an external automation tool to initiate and complete the migration process with a minimum downtime. As a first step, NSXT has to be installed and pre-configured with some required components, such as a T0 gateway. Then, the VMware NSX migration for VMware Cloud Director tool can be downloaded from vmware.com in the Drivers and Tools section from the VCD page. Once the package extracted on a Linux or Windows machine, you can configure details about the migration within the user input YAML file. There, you will have to configure details about Cloud Director, NSXT, but also vCenter server. The NSX migration tool for vCD includes a pre-check option that verifies the source org VDC configuration and validates that all requirements are met. The NSX migration tool will create the target organization VDC as well as the target edge gateways and networks backed by NSXT. Then, it will configure NSXT bridging instances to ensure layer 2 connectivity exists during the migration process. It will also validate that L2 bridging is working by doing automated bridging tests. Once everything is ready, the migration tool switches north-south traffic to the target VDC. L2 bridging created in the previous step maintains east-west traffic. At this moment, the workload migration can start. VApps are migrated sequentially using vMotion and storage vMotion if required. I know I can proceed with migration confidently as my pre-check was successful. I start the migration using the same configuration file and I'm also starting a few continuous ping tests uh, to validate that there is minimal downtime during the migration. Here, I am connected to the console of the 192.168.20.11 VM, and I'm starting a ping test to the other VM from the VApp to migrate, 192.168.20.12. The migration is now in progress. You will notice that a new org VDC has been created. The tool will continue with the creation of the target edge gateway and organization networks. Just after verifying bridging connectivity, the next step is the creation of centralized services such as NAT rules on the target edge gateway. The tool uses metadata on the source and target VDC to store information relative to the migration. One of the final steps is to move vApps sequentially from the source to the target organization VDC. The length of the migration depends on the need to migrate the storage or not. I'm using vSAN in this example, so a storage vMotion is required to migrate the vApp. While checking my ping, I noticed that only three packets were lost for the east-west traffic and the north-south traffic downtime was minimal. 